Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I'll be guiding you through a full body flexibility yin yoga practice. So you are not going to require any props. It's going to be all encompassing and this is a practice that you can do any time of day. And also before we get started, I would like to say thank you to all of the supporters on my channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. It does help with the longevity of my channel and it also helps me know what classes to deliver to you. So we'll go ahead and get started. Our first posture will be dangling. So coming to stand up and bringing your feet about two fists width distance apart. You want a slight bend in the knees and you want to drape the belly over the thighs. Let the head go. Let the shoulders relax. Maybe just bob up and down here. You could nod your head yes and no. Taking some nice deep breaths. Before you settle in to the pose. Noticing where you bear most of your weight. Is it in the heels? Is it in the ball of the foot? Trying to find nice, solid ground. Equal balance between the heel and the ball of the foot. So coming into our last few breaths here, see if you can let go, drop just a little bit deeper. Really sending that breath into the belly, feeling the rib cage expand. Take our last two breaths, nice big inhale, fill up, and side out, one more inhale, and exhale, so very gently lift the gaze. Plant the palms onto the floor and just gently shimmy from side to side. Making your way all the way down. Onto your knees. Sit back onto your heels. Just 
allow the blood to settle. Let's open our eyes and find ourselves in a wide-legged child's pose. So bringing the big toes to touch at the back and your knees as wide as they can go for you. You're going to walk all 10 fingertips forward and then walk them over and off the mat to the right. You can place your right hand on top of the left. You can rest your head on your upper left arm if that feels more comfortable, or you can bring your forehead all the way down to the mat. We'll go ahead and even things out doing the other side. So without fully coming up out of the pose, just shimmy your way over to the other side. So your hands walk over and off the left side of your mat this time. You can bring your ear to your upper right shoulder or bringing your forehead all the way to the mat. Nice deep breaths. Coming into our last few breaths, just walk all 10 fingertips to the center, bring the forehead to the mat.
Taking our last two breaths, inhale, fill up. And side out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently lift the gaze, push into your palms, rock forward and come all the way onto your belly. Just take a few moments here. Stack fist on fist and let the forehead rest. Lifting the gaze now, finding ourselves in Sphinx. So shoulders are in line with the elbows and your feet and your legs are as wide as your mat. From here, pull your elbows back to draw your shoulders through. And you can stay here or gently begin to sink and everything below the waist is nice and relaxed. Always feels good to take some neck rotations. Make sure you roll the neck out through the other side, other direction. Making our way into our last few breaths, you can stay here or turning your hands to the top corners of your mat, pushing into your palms and finding your seal pose. Just making sure you're not lifting your pelvis and your belly up off of the mat. And nice deep breaths here.
let's take our last two breaths and on every inhale imagine you're bringing that breath right up underneath your armpits inhale and exhale one more inhale and exhale lowering all the way down onto your forearms stack palms and let the forehead rest here Making our way onto our backs. Making our way into banana. Extending your legs straight down onto your mat. And then walking your heels off the left side of your mat. Bringing your arms up overhead. Interlacing your fingers or grabbing onto opposite elbows. And then curving in towards your feet. You just want to make sure that your right hip doesn't begin to lift up off of the mat. You can stay here or if you would much rather bend the left knee and grab a hold of the left ankle with the left hand. last few breaths here maybe you curve in a little bit deeper last two breaths here inhale really breathe nice and big and side out one more inhale and exhale If you had the left hand on the left ankle, gently release, bring the torso back straight, bring the right leg down and the left foot to meet it. Bring 
your hands onto your belly. Just take a moment here before we do the other side. And when you're ready, we'll do that on the other side. So walking your heels off the right side of your mat, bring your arms up overhead. You can interlace your fingers or grab onto opposite elbows and then curve in towards your feet, making sure that your left hip doesn't lift up off of the mat. And you can stay here or if you did it on the other side, bend the right knee and then take your right hand and grab a hold of the right ankle. Really trying to bring that breath into the chest, into the side, right up underneath the armpit. Just notice how that changes the stretch. Making our way into our last breaths. Any minor adjustments to go just a little bit deeper. Taking our last two breaths, inhale. A nice sigh out of the mouth. <sighs> One more inhale. And exhale. Gently. Bringing your torso back upright, releasing the grip from the right ankle. Bring yourself back to center. Go ahead and bend both knees here. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Very gently, just rock from side to side.
And we will finish today's practice taking a reclined bound angle, bringing the soles of the feet to touch, bringing the heels in as close to your groin as you would like. Bringing one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your heart. Feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like. I hope you enjoyed today's practice, and I will see you back here again soon. Have a wonderful day.